if you give knowledge, if you give access to the technology to the kids, those kids, once they grow up, mm -hmm. they will be ready for change, not their life, their family life, yeah. and the next generation coming. And we can see it now with the, we have 21 projects happening now. Mm -hmm. And 21. 21. Yeah. The hate of men will pass. Dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. Happiness. to one love bitcoin this is dread and this is our first episode a special episode my friend chimbera from el salvador i hope you enjoy it because i did one love Copas de más, tú no me dejas en paz, de mi mente no te va. Aunque sé que no debo, ay, pensar en ti, bebé, pero cuando bebo, me gana tu nombre, tu cara, tu risa y tu pelo. Tell me a little about yourself, you know, tell me, um, you know, how you got into Bitcoin Beach, because I came here to talk to Michael, and he was going to show me all about Bitcoin Beach, and how it works, and ins and outs, and I realized that, you know, you're really the guy on the ground, like, you are you grew up here, you know, you're from here, um, you know the people, and um, you really know what's, like, the, the ins and outs, and the details, and even the difficulties of Bitcoin Beach, so tell me a little about how you got into it. Tell me about, you know, where you are today in Bitcoin Beach, what you do for them, and um, and how it's been for you. Yeah. Hello, guys. Yes. Thanks for being in El Sonte, and, and it's like a pleasure to have you here. Oh, man, I love it here. And my history is super simple. I We born here in El Sonte, like, it's a fisherman town. That is changing a lot now with the tourism and with the develop and. You said your family is fishermen. So yeah, yeah. Uh, my father is still. He's a fisherman. My mm. parents, my grandfather was a fisherman too. So, I born here with not technology, mm -hmm. with not computer, with not cell phones. Mm -hmm. I born here with my surfboard and my ataraya. That is like a net that we use for fishing. You oh. know. Ataraya. Ataraya. And you like go into the water and throw it. And yeah, the exactly. Fish and that's like from my nickname came from. My nickname, everyone know me about Chimbera is my nickname. Chimbera. 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 What does that mean? It means a little fish. <laughs> I get it from okay. there because when I was a kid, I was always playing in the water, yeah. swimming in the water, and people call me Chimberita. <laughs> and... Love the water, yeah. always yeah. like, and I'm. Uh, I think surf for me surf. Before I know about Bitcoin, surf had been have changing my life, mm -hmm. and surf have that power of change people' life. You know, surfing give the joy, the, the joy of the, it, right? But the joy, but the hop. Mm. That is gonna be a better wave tomorrow after oh. that one that you're surfing, oh. you know. Yeah. And surfing teach you that you don't have the control. Mm. Surfing teach you that you need to adapt mm. about the condition that you have today, the condition that you will have tomorrow. And life is like this: you have to adapt. In sometimes big change, super quickly. Sometimes it took more time, but it's that hop that you will serve the perfect wave, you know? Yeah. And that was my 
mentality since yeah. the, the the beginning. And you say what's it's a really good analogy for life, you know, because everything you think about in life, you always try to control. Well, not you, but some people always try to control. And you know, you think about life like surfing, where waves can hit you down. You know, you could get knocked over, you could break a leg. Exactly. But then you could also catch that perfect pipe. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And many times, not many times, but a few times, I say I will not surfing again. I was, I was so close to die. I was so close yeah. to, to stay there. Oh, I see the waves. Sometimes they are too big now that I decide that I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go. Mm -hmm. So for life and 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 opportunities are the same. You know how many times we 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 stay down because maybe like one business, one job. Uh, you lose your job. Your business was not good, or you are having some difficulty, or and you want to stay there. You know. Yeah. And you don't want to stand up and you don't want to believe that it's, it's, it's going to come. Yeah. It's going to come a better way to serve. You know, that's safe or life and safe. It's kind of a good analogy to, to like you said, in life where you, you just sit back and don't participate in life because you, you don't want to risk it. You exactly. You don't want to maybe fail or exactly. maybe do bad at that job so you don't take the job. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, el in El Salante, like, most of the people are like, we, we came from a poor families, mm -hmm. and our families have been like, have been like, they live, I think, the harder life of our country, of our history, you know? Uh, even when I was a kid, I remember not having access to the technology, how mm -hmm. I say before. And I have been lucky. I don't know if you that's... Feel like the kids today still face the same challenges that you did? Maybe not. Mm. Because there are more opportunities, but this is the thing that I want to write. Like, for me, I get like a scholarship for studying English. And that's why now I can I can speak, maybe not perfect. You speak very good English. <laughs> Thank you, but it's like I still have some problems, you know. But that's the that was the reason, or that's the reason. That's why I can I can talk. Mm -hmm. But my parents couldn't pay for my English class, right. and that was like the pooch, the little pooch that someone helped me with that. You know, and that changed my life. Changed the whole trajectory. Everything. Yeah. After that, I was ready to start my own surface school since I was like 18 years old. So you said the, the English, just simply... Just the English. English changed my whole life. Wow. And bring me more opportunities. Yeah. When I was like, when I didn't speak English, my job in the community, I, I have been like, I was a surf instructor yeah. and I get paid four bucks for a class because okay. I didn't have the knowledge to solve my own surf classes, you know. Since I have the, that knowledge, I realized that I, now I can solve my own surf classes for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect example of the use of knowledge in society. All the, all the um, Austrian economics that are listening to this now are going to be like, yeah, that's the way it works. You, you use the knowledge you have to um, elevate yourself in society or at least enrich yourself because that knowledge will give you more you know, than you thought you could get from it. Exactly. And that changed my life in many ways. That made me the opportunity to have access to start my own business. Small, but was my own business. Mm -hmm. And I met my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, and that gave me the opportunity to move and stay in Europe for some years. That changed my life, you know, changed my life. And I see that in Europe, like, the pets education is public. The pets health system care yeah. is public. public yeah. yeah. And if it's done correctly, I should say, right? Yeah. yeah. 
and this salary people work and they have with the salary that they get they can buy like a house mm -hmm. they can travel mm -hmm. if they want it or when they retire you see people when they retire that they they can afford it and yeah. they have like help because they have been working that's the system savings. and this yeah, they have saving. savings and the system there works right yeah. for Relatively. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say it's perfect, but I, yeah. I, it's work, you know, and people have like access because there are so many things that are, that are right or people right yeah. and they have to have access to that. And in our country, we don't have access to that. We don't have access. The best education here is private. The best health system, her, her. Here. Whole, yeah, the health, health yeah. system here is so all the all the um, the social systems here like um, insurance, health. These are all private. We have like people. a public, a public one. So you have a public one. We have a public one, yeah. but until until uh, now, mm. with the new president, it's also this. Our president is like, I he representing like a big change, you know, and he give help yeah. to many people, and that's. Young guy, he told me, right? Like yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, I think, 39, 38. But I, that, that work, that help that he gives to many people, mm -hmm. he's not going to do it alone. He needs people. Yeah. And if you want to make, like, the change or you want to see it like a change, you got to be involved. Yeah. Change got to be in you. Yeah. yeah. You are the change that you want to see. I always say that. Such a good line. And... If not, after you cannot say like, oh, this country doesn't work, this country have not opportunity, the violence is like growing, because yeah. uh, we talk about this, like the violence is not the problem, the problem is the missing opportunities. So, to arrive to the point what Bitcoin Beach is, is, is a project that Mike Peterson started that Mike bring to our community uh, with, in the beginning with Jorge. Jorge is my best buddy. We have been, been like brothers since we were kids working together in Jorge. We, our job with Jorge in the beginning was like he cut the coconut, he climbing the coconut, coconut tree. tree. Yeah, yeah, and Pick coconuts yeah. that was our job, you know? Yeah. And, with help with the so, Bitcoin Beach. Just so you know, I used to do that too for my grandmother. Not to sell, but we had coconut trees in the yard and now just skimmy. You know, yeah. With feet. Yeah. Just climb it. Yeah. Yeah. So we time. were doing for a job. Yeah. It's a job, you know? And when Bitcoin Beach, there are two things. The social project are like, they have been happening already for almost 10 years and the first project was like to fill their the kids low low tank the concept was that every kid have a tank in their heart mm -hmm. that if you don't fill it with love mm -hmm. some people will fill it with wrong things mm -hmm. and that kid when that kid is gonna grow it's gonna grow without love and that was like the first social project that was simple, man, just to put all the kids together and have like a quality time with them, a place where they can forget all the problems that maybe they are happening in their houses. Mm -hmm. And it's also because our parents maybe in the whole history, they're, they're not their fault because they're growing in that way thinking that spending quality time with kids is not that important, you know, the kids need to work and they yeah. need to do this and do that and, you know, and busy. Yeah. yeah, so that was the, the, um, the reality and we also are the result of some people job what they did with us when we were kids change our life and maybe put that desideri to help people mm -hmm. in our heart in the tank 
in the tank. Yeah. They fill it mm -hmm. or tank. And they put us in contact with tourism mm -hmm. and that cultural ex cultural change change our mind, mm -hmm. opening our minds. And that was the work that was done with us, but after was a like a space that no one was doing that. And what's happening there was so sad. So when Mike decide to start this project for us, for me, I see like an opportunity that our community can change and that can be the hope that our people were waiting for, you know, that little push that someone like my scholarship was the company of the electricity. They pay for my scholarship. Okay. So changed my life you know and now when they start with this project i want to be part of this if there are people that want to help our country yeah. or want to make the difference we need to we need to get together and it, like a you good feel like these projects with especially the social programs that's the direction to help i think is the key is the key because like if you give knowledge, if you give access to the technology to the kids, those kids, once they grow up, mm -hmm. they will be ready for change, not their life, their family life, yeah. and the next generation coming. And we can see it now with the, we have 21 projects happening now, mm -hmm. and, 21. 21. Wow. That's a lot of projects now. Yeah. Remember last year when I checked, you had like four, maybe three projects yeah. going. So I, I want to speak about all 21, but give me some highlights. Like I think English class for us have been like so important because our country has been growing with tourism mm -hmm. so fast. And if you have access, if you know English, you will have more opportunities. Would you say that's the popular, the most popular program right now? This is one. We have Surf for Everyone, mm -hmm. that is, uh, that was like, I was in charge of this. Of course. Yeah, yeah because I, I, you know, and that's, yeah. before, we, we, before I know about Bitcoin, that you asked me this question, that was my mentality, mm -hmm. because surfing changed my life, and I say, if surfing changed my life, surf can change kids' life. Yeah, yeah. And I will, we will teach surf to all the kids, and that was like, I was more focusing on mm -hmm. that, you know, and surfing, English class, computer class, crypto, teach people about money, financial education, but this is not just a problem of Jamaica, El Salvador, and Latin America, this is like global, mm -hmm. like, we don't know, like, for me, what's impressed to understand what money is. Like learning that was learning surprising, surprising to you. Yeah. Yeah. Because like we get money, you know that you work for something, you get paid, but now you have your money, what you're gonna do? We have been like teaching or we someone teach us or we have been hearing about it that now that you get the money you need to save your money. And the way to save your money is to put the money in bank. Yeah. Or invested in some crazy company yeah. or yeah. Yeah, that's if that's like another level if you already have like knowledge yeah. and you understand something and you understand that you can make money but in our culture the poor people are like okay you working hard you get the money and you now you need to save your money and the way to save it is putting in the bank mm. but the reality is that many of many of those family doesn't have access to no bank. No bank. Mm -hmm. They don't have bank. Mm -hmm. So what's happening? They spend everything. What they get in one month, they spending in one month. Why not try to you know save it old school like under the mattress, under the bed? But what's happened with that? Like the thing is like that was also another thing that we 
think that if we get the money and we put it under the mattress mm -hmm. and passing 10 years you take it, the value of that money that you put 10 years before is not going to be the same. So that was like the biggest thing, you know, to understand it and say, okay, so now I need to spend it. <laughs> like I, I have been hearing that for saving money, I need to put it in the bank, but I don't, we don't have access to the bank account. And now I'm learning that if I put my money there mm -hmm. and I took it after 10 years, the body of money is going to be less. Yeah. So, I've like, recently been saying this. I feel like the money is expiring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, have been like a big process to understand that and, and chalk for many things, you know? Mm -hmm. And to have like, okay, you can invest, you say, in other companies like stocks or like buy, trying to buy things and, 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 and everything, but we didn't realize that the biggest opportunity that we have to invest and to keep the value maybe of our money was next to us and was Bitcoin. And that was the, the huge opportunities that Bitcoin Beach bring to our community to give access to people to now save money and put their money in something that even if there is a risk, because people are like, okay, but if I put my 20 bucks in Bitcoin, there's like a risk that one day is gonna be gone. Yeah. And you say, it's not really like that, but I still, there is a risk, but there is a chance. And if there is a chance, there is a possibility. And how, hope. there is hope. Yeah. So the right word for us, how I can describe Bitcoin Beach and what Bitcoin representing for us, it's hope, freedom, like also like that freedom that people now, imagine if I want to send money from El Salvador to Jamaica, but I don't have a bank account. How can I do that? I can go through some system yeah. or like some money changer, money, some you, know, yeah. you pay 40 US dollars, and fees, and yeah. But still, the people that are suffering more are always those people that need to pay more. And yeah. once you understand that, you want to be part of the history. You want a part of the people that are trying to educate our people and yeah. helping people. And so I think that financial education is super important to teach. In a good way, you know, many people don't need to know about Bitcoin, but they need to know what's happening with money and how to create more money. And that's the, the secret, I think. When you teach a kid or a person that for making money, there are many more ways than the ways that we see in our grandparents or grandfathers that they, they, they work in hard every day yeah. for a salary of 300 US a month a month and and if they want to make more money I see I grew up my parents my father working also on Saturday on Sunday yeah. because that was the way you want to make more money you need to work in more in some way, this is the true, you know? It is true linearly yeah you'll make incrementally more money if you work incrementally harder but but <laughs> that's not exponential it never will be exactly and yeah. this is not what money is like how people make money it's like okay what do you think if i buy maybe some actives and teach people like have you ever thinking how many active active or passive mm -hmm. you have in your life mm -hmm. and see what are you doing with your salary in one month and if you don't change this in a little bit way, your life and your will never change. So that's, if you teach that to kids or to person that for doing one thing, there are other ways, you open their minds 
and next time they will come and they will at least they will have the question and say this is the right way that I'm doing the things but you need to put that seed mm -hmm. on them you know so to ask help sometimes we're scared to, uh, to, to ask for help trying to that we know everything but we don't know everything yeah all day we're learning something new you know yeah, no matter how smart we are right exactly yeah. and that's we're helping the education we have a scholarship for the university we so one of the bitcoin programs is a scholarship for university yeah. too really tell me more about that one yeah that's you know when you come to the kids and you say yeah you want to be a doctor right but sometimes, as a kid, you realize, like very young, that your parents will not be able to pay for your university. Right. Especially right. doctor university. That's exactly. Yeah. Four extra years of pay, even after the regular college. Yeah. yeah. So now the Beacon Beach program have like a a project mm -hmm. that say, you wanna be a lawyer, you wanna be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Go for it. There are many people that want to help. And they receive, we have, I don't know exactly the number of the scholarship guys, but we have more than 10 now, I think, just in Sonte, wow. that they are having access to the university thanks to the project. And, and That's amazing. And you know why, like, around the world, there are many people that want to help. People that have been lucky yeah. in life that want to do something for somewhere else. Yeah. And, and, and the, the main thing is, a lot of, and this has been happening for years where people have wanted to help. And you know why they haven't helped as much? Because the countries themselves and the policymakers prevent them from doing so exactly like people who want to you know give money to different places that they want that they know need it but you know they the like for example the u.s i think jamaica does it in certain states too will restrict you from giving money unless you have a licensed non-profit that yeah. they approve that you can give the money to yeah or if you give the money you make sure you file on your taxes so they can track how much money you're giving yeah and um a lot of people are dis are are um, what can I say? They are demotivated. You know, they're like, oh, that's too much work. I have to do all the paperwork. I don't. I just wanted to give some money. Yeah. Have you heard of Atlas Hodl? No. He's a Bitcoiner on on Twitter. Okay. And he's in Colombia. Okay. And this guy was uh, on a very very um, hard hardcore Bitcoiner, but you know, working a really really low paying job. I think he was making less than fifty bucks a month U.S. You know, similar to down here, but maybe worse. And he was still saving in Bitcoin, just like you're saying. He learned that that is the way to get out of the situation he is currently in. And he tweeted saying, you know, I'm doing it. I mean, I see you guys have all your big Bitcoin, you know, you got lucky and you guys are, are, are making a lot of money. And I'm right here with you. You know, I have like my little $25 worth of Bitcoin and it's growing. It's $35 now. I wish I had a lot more, but, you know, I'm, I'm making it happen. And you know what the Bitcoin community did? They saw him and they just started donating to his address. Within the day, he had a full Bitcoin. And now he's financially independent. He preaches Bitcoin in Colombia and he just does his thing. Yeah. So And, and they didn't have to file any paperwork. Yeah. They didn't have to send any non-profits. They didn't have to tell the government anything. So yeah. Bitcoin allows, for, like this right here, I didn't have to come down and tell the government I was going to come and, you know, spend money in Bitcoin Beach. Yeah. No, exactly. Like... The thing is like, when people talk about Bitcoin, is Bitcoin is nothing new, right? Well, exist. Money's always been around. Yeah. yeah. And, and this is like the main point, you know, for, it's nothing new, but it's like no one wanna teach yeah. others. Yeah. Because like in, in cultures, like, in our cultures, like, it's better to keep people without education. Mm -hmm. And financial education is also dangerous, you know, because once people understand that they can be... They're free. They're free, and they have freedom, and now they can receive payment from 
all around the world mm -hmm. now they can travel and spend money on bitcoin mm -hmm. and of course no one won like that you know that yeah like and they can even get scholarships to become lawyers yeah and you don't have to tell anyone you're giving yeah. them scholarships yeah that's amazing but i my 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 real point is like if bitcoin exists it because that was a needed and that was like a one thing that people were like hoping hop they were trying to find hope in something yeah and and people need to realize that the system the financial system that we have now works for some people but doesn't work for the majority of people and that's like sad when you see like your father have been working so hard for the whole month mm -hmm. but in the end of the month you don't have even food in your house yeah. and say I did my job working yeah but where is the money so my kids want a bike my kid want a pair of phone my kids want to learn English but I cannot pay for that yeah. you know and that's like sad and and but it's reality right it's Our reality yeah. it's reality are people that are working so hard and what they want a better quality of life a better life like what we want we're not gonna be here forever and one day you're gonna leave and all the money that you can have or you will make or you will like keeping or you will have you're not gonna take it with you that's gonna stay here and that's like what's Bitcoin Beach or what's the project or what the I think people around crypto see there is not like a quality it's not like equal yeah and there is like people are suffering and people don't see what Bitcoin or can representing or can can be the key for us have been the social project and Bitcoin have been the key for educator people for have the 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 funds the money mm -hmm. to pay for English class computer class surfing education uh, helping the community with a doctor with a psychology with a help the old people here because they don't like when you get old here mm -hmm. and you don't have like you have been not in the system working hard or even if you have been in the system working hard but you have like a, a retire payment mm -hmm. that is 200 US per month okay less than a salary yeah mm -hmm. so it's gonna be like hard to live you know so people retire here in the system but they still have to work anyway sometimes and so no no, no. once you retire yeah if you have been working in a company for I don't know how many years now, yeah. you will get some. Okay. But the truth is that sometimes what you get is too low it's to live. Enough. Yeah. And and that's also some question that people need to ask. Like, okay, I work in the system. I work in how people say. I work in all my life. I give my life. But in the end, what I'm going to get? And... I don't know, I see that hope and that opportunity to help and that opportunity to change things a little bit. Mm -hmm. And and I will tell you something I think that was the key and have been the key for many things that people think that for helping others you need to have money. And people say, ah, oh, I don't have money so I cannot help. And for us, it was to understand in this that time is money. Mm -hmm. That's like a well huge, yeah. huge thing, you know? Time is money. You cannot have money, but if you have time, 
is the same if you are a donator money because mm -hmm. time is money and that's allowed now that people can come and spend time with the kids you say you want to help you can help you want to be part of the surf or the english class of the social work in the community or this yeah but how with your time put your time and make some money and or make, make some bitcoin make some money yeah. or donate mm. some time mm. to something if you want to help yeah because yeah. you're basically doing the same as donating exactly money or so bitcoin. some people can donate money mm -hmm. some people can donate time mm -hmm. and that was like a huge thing to teach that you know and to te teach people into the community that also that you don't need to just wait that someone will come and help you that you can you need to do something too and yeah I cannot yeah you can you have time yeah you know and that's like having like that's big that's huge because a lot of times we face the same thing in Jamaica, where people will sit and they will wait for assistance, mm -hmm. you know, those, oh, the government needs to help me, or you know, I don't, I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna wait until something better comes along, and a lot of times they'll sit and they'll wait, and that is literally wasting their own time, where they could be doing something else, exactly productive, or volunteering that time somewhere else as well. So this is something that I'm actually learning from you. I'm gonna be definitely using um, a lot of this to to try and educate people that I know about their own time and not wasting it as much as, as we do it today. Yeah, and of course we cannot save everyone. And that's like sometimes sad, you know, because like, I don't know you, but I have the personality that if I understand something, I want to like, this is, this is, this is, this is, but it's not like, it's not the right time and it's not the right way you know sometimes it took more time for some people it took more time but i if we can save one people that's amazing you know and you're gonna change like the history and that person will change other people so how have you what what changes have you seen over the past two years here like you know with maybe a couple of examples in terms of how locally and it might not even be i would prefer to hear almost a, a knock-on effect so Maybe not someone that's directly right now working at Bitcoin Beach, but maybe a couple of shops down, how it's affected their life, you know, where mm -hmm. they were before two years ago and where they are now and how, it's, how Bitcoin Beach itself has, has helped them. Imagine if you, if, you, if you don't have access to the bank account, but you want to make business or you want to receive payment, electronic payment. Mm -hmm electronic transactions mm. you're not allowed right you don't even try it you're just like ah, oh, yeah I can't yeah do it. I cannot do it yeah. so Bitcoin have been the key to teach that and I see families how their quality of life have been changing a lot mm -hmm. like some example like for a family that sold pizzas mm. that they sell like a pizza like eight months ago for let's say a box mm. and now that's portion of of bitcoin that at that time were eight bucks mm -hmm. now are 250 mm -hmm. 300 bucks mm. you know and there are many examples like that like uh, a kid a guy that with 19 years old working in the project study st starting the, the high school is paying now like a piece of land a rate of piece of land every month and to understanding that just working and having her salary his salary and Bitcoin have been helping him to do that you know so he's buying the land you said he's paying yeah every month like a, a rate yeah or rent he, you mean the, the no like a he make every month like a pay oh, like a payment plan yeah to purchase it yeah that's amazing and yeah he's gonna like be eventually paid off based on his working right now yeah and he said that wasn't possible before yeah, yeah. <laughs> because cool. like how you or like a old guy 
I, let's say old guy, but he's he's 62 and he's old, you know, for yeah. society, he's old. Yeah. And his full salary is in Bitcoin. And since one year, he started working with the project one year ago and mm -hmm. all his salary is in Bitcoin. And now like, he, with the saving that he had been putting on Bitcoin or living there, mm -hmm. he had been like putting all his new teeth Ah, you got new teeth, new dental yeah, work. Yeah. Okay. Or now he's ready to buy a cow. Cows are expensive. I've been trying to buy a cow myself. So. Just like buying a car or a piece of land sometimes. Okay. But that's like, now he see that it's possible. Yeah. And now he's going to go after a big, a bigger thing. You yeah. know, maybe the biggest dream was to, bu to have a cow. Yeah. And once you get it, now you're ready to do something else. And that's like, or like a guy that he's also 19 years old and he see like he had been part of all the project and now he's also like a leader, a community leader with 19 years old. He's, he see in the community that was like a needed of eyes, for example. And he say, I will sell eyes. I will so buy, ice. yeah, I will buy like a f big fridge. Mm -hmm. So this made it a business basically. Yeah. Okay. But like that here right there with 19 years old and say, well, I see this needed. I'm not waiting that someone will give me a job and I will take it. I see like you change. Yeah. You, you've broken that, that, that mental dependence they have. Exactly. It's amazing. Exactly, and how? But but <clears throat> so I guess the question I would have is then, um, where do you see that that actual break happening, right? Because mentally, a lot of people are still enslaved like that. They still think, oh, I have to wait, I have to wait, I have to, I need to be saved, I need to be helped. Where along their journey do you see them change their mind, you know, and say, oh wait, I can do this myself? Like, is is it when they start earning the Bitcoin? Or is it when they start spending it? Or is it when they start, when they see the price go up? Like what point do they really start thinking that way? You know? I, think it's a, I think it's a mix. It's a mix of many things. Mm -hmm. And some people understand like Bitcoin straight away. Like you talk to someone and say like, this is, can give you more opportunities. Put something here and you will see that. Will, but but the price goes up and down and they can understand it from there. Some other people, what I see is like, that's why the social project are the base mm -hmm. of everything. Like how I explained you yesterday, is like if you teach to the kids English, computer class, some financial education but you give access to the technology bitcoin is a technology it's a new technology yeah. so if you with some people just the simple fact to have access to the a computer with the internet they will arrive and that has been the key is there when you see the the things that you break because like they say, okay, now I have computer. I have I, I have a computer class. And now they go online and they can search what's Bitcoin. Oh, I, okay. They learn. They learn. They go into the community and they say, okay, if I can pay here on Bitcoin, why should I be scared to put like some money on Bitcoin? Why when you read like that, rich people around the world, big company all around the world are putting money into the Bitcoin. Yeah. And you say, but if you if they don't have access to that information yeah. and access to to internet or technology, they will never know about it. Yeah. And they will be thinking that it's something that is happening just here, you know? So that's like I think like 
and to put also like help also to put them in contact with the tourism with the to teach them to believe in their dreams too you know and ask like many many times we we didn't have the time to to ask what's your dream what you want to do what is possible and that's like it took time but in the last two years it had been everything growing so fast so fast yeah it's been a pretty crazy rocket ship this year so far especially because the price has gone up of course that helps a lot but I think even putting the price aside the fact that there is so much more infrastructure so much more technology in this space that that people can learn about you know like three four years ago um, they, they didn't have a lot of educational media that you guys you know that not just you but us in Jamaica we mm -hmm. could actually download and listen to you know they didn't have a lot of um, wallets and hardware nodes and um, hardware wallets and full nodes and these things you can tinker with. They didn't have that anymore, you know, mm -hmm. or before they didn't have it. And and you'd be wondering to yourself, okay, I don't know what this Bitcoin thing is. I hear him talking about it, but I'm not playing with anything to figure it out for myself. Now, I was in the office of at Hope House, and a guy was like setting up a coal card, you know, from CoinKite, and and learning how to use it so that he can teach others in the community how to how to store their money in hardware wallets and it blew my mind because it showed me that it's not just that Bitcoin is um, helping and, and freeing people. It's also that it's, it's actively giving them physical things that they can, they can work with in yeah. their hands and, and make it a reality for you, yeah. you know? That's amazing. And another thing about Bitcoin is like that is open and free. So every effort that you do it helped me in some ways. Mm -hmm. Every effort that we make here, it will help Jamaica, it will help you. Yes. So that's the and that's the that's the that's the, the beautiful thing that people need to understand that like the same QR code that people are scanning in the USA is the same QR code that we can scan here. And in Jamaica. Oh in Jamaica. And in Guatemala. Oh, in in Guatemala. Guatemala. So the same thing that if you have money on Bitcoin, your Bitcoin grow. If I have money on Bitcoin, my Bitcoin grow. Mm -hmm. So give the same chance to everyone, you know. And, and it's play a lot with the that we don't grow up with technology, and in some time, more time pass, it's gonna be more hard. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like Bitcoin can representing like a huge opportunity for the people, for many people. But these people are not friendly with the technology and took more time to them to understanding that. Yeah. And hopefully they will understand it like fast, you know? And I mean, who, they are hopefully, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's why there are like people, person like you, like us here, that we understanding or we're new, we're maybe we're learning, we're still learning, we're learning many things now. And I don't know, we're lucky that this started Bitcoin Beach. Mike came to our beach. He want to help our country, our community. And everything started from there. But... What would you say the sentiment is for Bitcoin outside of El Sonte? Like if we go down to Tunca or even further, like into the town, what, is, what, are, what are people's views on it and how this town is growing? Now... It's growing a lot. Mm. Like many places, now there are places in Tunco, there is another ATM. El Salvador have oh, two ATMs. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Same company, Athena. Uh, no. Different one. Different. That's good too. It's decentralization. That's and good. that was another guy that doesn't have to be nothing with the project of yeah. El Sante or Bitcoin Beach. So awesome. Another guy that say, I will put another ATM here. Mm. And we don't know. But I can use the ATM, you know? Same you can code. use the ATM, yeah. <laughs> So that's, that possibility is like huge and is there. And now people want to come to Sonte and live that experience because it's like, it's representing a lot, like that dream that people maybe like you, like people like that have been into this Bitcoin or crypto and you say one day, 
that one day it's happening now. And it started little mm-hmm. here in Sunday. Mm-hmm. But El Sunday had been the key. It's going to be the key. El Salvador is going to be the key. Yeah. yeah. And to put all the eyes around the world and say, that little community that El Sonte, that this guy, Mike Peterson, moved to there, put that sea in these local people, and now it's growing like so fast. That's wicked, man. And... But I gotta ask, because I think you said crypto three times versus just Bitcoin. So you know I'm gonna ask the question. I have to, um, what, what, what is the... The difference for you guys between you know Bitcoin Beach and Bitcoin and everything around Bitcoin's ecosystem and crypto and thinking about the other crypto assets out there and you know if you are you are you are you welcoming it into the community or is it just like okay if you have crypto sure we understand that you're trying to get into the into the ecosystem and we can teach you and have you trade for Bitcoin or is there a little bit of a different um, sentiment there? <laughs> I don't want to get too much in. No, 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 no. Yo, yeah, really good answer to that question. Trust me. But before we get there, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Swan Bitcoin and Corey Clipson specifically for pushing me to start this thing. The show is really important for financial inclusion across the world and Bitcoin education, which Swan Bitcoin is also committed to. So, you know, if you have a lot of financial privilege out there, you can go ahead and check out swanbitcoin.com slash private. Or if you have a little bit of financial privilege in the U.S., you can still check out swanbitcoin.com slash Rastafari. And if you don't really have much at all, but you still want to join this revolution and get some sats in your pocket, look at the little QR code I posted up here and you might get some free sats from it. Figure out how to use a lightning wallet and they're yours. Cool. So... Back to the show. We didn't have like our donor. How everything started this yeah. anonymous donor that we don't know who is. Mm-hmm. That the social projects were happening here already, and before we were using dollars, you know, and when these. Donor came and he want to be part of this and want to help us other and want to help to build this. Uh, we the only require that we teach people about Bitcoin because Bitcoin changed his life. Okay, not crypto. But Bitcoin changed his life. Bitcoin. Okay. Change his life. You guys still don't know who this person is. Uh, He's we completely don't know. anonymous. Yeah. He just gave you a ton of resources and Bitcoin to, to build. Yeah. That is. But that's unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, and and so Bitcoin is. N- so why crypto then? Why use the word crypto if, if if he didn't give you crypto and he doesn't care? He wants Bitcoin to be taught, you know. Because once you are in, you understand that. Is it like to help people who don't understand? You know, not yeah, to scare them away. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crypto, come. Like Bitcoin is once you are in, you understand that Bitcoin is gold. Yeah. It's the gold, you know, and this is like, if we don't, we don't motivate her, and this is another thing, we don't motivate her with our project, with the social project, the social project try to teach educated people about everything. Mm-hmm. But that thing that say, I will put money into this, it have to come by your decision, right? Mm-hmm. And... Of course, personality, I believe that Bitcoin is, is, is the gold. Mm-hmm. And if you want a gold, you buy gold, you mm-hmm. know. But crypto is... It's everything. And Bitcoin is crypto too. Uh, no? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. No, I, I, think, I think crypto are, are copies and clones of Bitcoin. Okay. But Bitcoin is Bitcoin. And then crypto is just copies of it. Okay, so that's... But to your point, it uses the same cryptographic technology. Yeah. So if you're talking about yeah. security yeah. that they try to implement, yeah. yes. It's just a lot weaker security. So, you know, if you talk about money and freedom and helping people to separate themselves from that dependence on the state, that's big. Yeah. If you talk about 
maybe making an extra couple bucks in the in the market and the exchanges and playing with money and maybe losing some and winning some that's crypto agree with that yeah. but that's like more technical true true it's advanced <laughs> the yeah beginner, the beginner has yeah. no idea for many people yeah. bitcoin is crypto and they're yeah. putting into crypto that's true so that's how i was thinking yeah you're using crypto to say okay come on in it's yeah it's you know like i'm not a maxi <laughs> maybe know? some people like they are right to the 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 technology hearing that other cryptos true i did other yeah how you call it? Altcoins. Yeah, altcoin. Shit yeah, shitcoin. <laughs> altcoin. Yeah, and yeah, and then like you have to be open to talk and 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 maybe what this is like a good thing, you know? Like there is like when you are open to listen and you see it and you listen, what why you think that and tell me, you know? Yeah. It's there where you grow up and you're learning more. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah but for, it's not just you. Yeah, some people have been asking that. Why not Ethereum Beach Con, yeah. Beach Beach Town? Yeah, you know, and but it came more from that. So from nowadays, the, Doge Beach Town. Yeah, <laughs> with okay. Doge you can buy just Tesla, man. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. But yeah i think if people can understand like we all talk about bitcoin and altcoins but then the reality is that new technology that now this is those are like products they're gonna come more products right maybe maybe i mean if they, and if they become products then um my personal belief is that those products will be built on top of bitcoin anyway yeah but um, you're right. They are they are trying to build products. They're trying to build companies. And you know, if those companies win or succeed, then they'll they'll have a place in so, the ecosystem. It just I don't think it'll be as their current form. It'll transform into something on a Bitcoin layer. Yeah. But you're right. They are working on stuff. So yeah, that's some the of, some of them are scams. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Most yeah. Ninety nine percent of them. Are yeah, scams. yeah. And that's for us. Put us in contact or have the opportunity to meet like guys yeah. like people all around the world that are really into and really live and really believe in this and like mike yeah mike jack yeah jack mallers from strike yeah uh miles Suter from he worked for cash, cash up, up. Mm -hmm. and those guys have been here and for us, maybe we don't understand what those guys are representing and what those guys do, you know? We are just... They're huge. They're huge. And if they are here and have a coffee with them and hear from there what they think, that's like a big value, you know? And, yeah. and we are lucky. <laughs> and this is the, the, the thing to have all these people having their eyes in El Salvador, you know, and learning from there is like a huge and amazing. Yeah. And so once in a million opportunity. Yeah. I'm really excited for, that you guys have to do this. Um, I can, yeah. And, and also the fact that, that Jack's down here with Strike, I would love for you to tell me how you've seen it accelerate once he came down. Cause I know that Bitcoin Beach, like I said, I've been watching you guys for two years, right? I've been watching you mm -hmm. develop. You know, I saw the social programs from the beginning and I was like, okay, these guys are doing their thing. But once once Jack pushed in that friggin', you know, line of cocaine into into the Hope House, I saw everything start blowing up, like, you know, online. So can you tell me how you've seen it change from, from you know, just working with Michael to, to Jack coming in and pumping in all the extra help? Yeah, Strike is... Stray was that uh, I don't know how you uh, how can I say this, but it was that moment or that product mm -hmm. that everyone was waiting for, you know. And let me explain you why. Okay. Like, is 
we have 2.5 million of Salvadorian people living in the USA. 2.5. And we are like... I said the entire population of Jamaica. So, (laughs) I think we have our thirst of our entire population of people living there. We're the first country that have one third of their... One third, yeah. Wow. So, you know what's remitting in representing for El Salvador? Oh, yeah. It's like, it's one of the biggest income for our country, our yeah. economy here. I think by, by capita, you guys are like number one in the, in the entire Southern American, Central American region. I'm not sure, but I'm, 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 I'm think we are. Yeah. So, but what's the problem that they have to be true? That they, they sending a lot of money to our country, but they need to pay a lot of money to do that. Mm-hmm. And to send that money here is not that they need, they, they need to work so hard to get the money and send their money to their family here. And more, they need to pay a biggest and higher fee to do that. Why? When now, with Bitcoin, there is the technology that people can do it for free and instantly. So couldn't they have done that before with the Bitcoin Beach app? Yes, they can do it like Bitcoin is. Strike is using the same technology. Yeah, so what did Strike bring that was, you know, that was like snapped into place that made everything so much easier? Because people are like, Strike, when you send money from Strike, the only process, the process is in Bitcoin, but people receive US dollar. Okay. Okay. The numbers they recognize. Yeah. Yeah. So people are more friendly with that. And the problem that the Strike is is fixing is that the connectivity that exists now, if I want to send money to... If I want to send free money from here, from the USA to El Salvador, mm-hmm. now I can do it. Yeah. I strike just to the Lightning Network. You mean in they, the Lightning Network? Okay. Yeah. So a strike took. Let's say that you want to send hundred bucks to El Salvador. A strike took those hundred bucks, convert into Bitcoin. The trip is in Bitcoin, but the f- person here get dollars. Yeah. After also the huge thing that the strike bring here. And it's gonna bring to the war is like those dollars that you get into strike, you can convert into Bitcoin, or you can convert your Bitcoin into dollars. Mm-hmm. And like this, people can have like access to spending or for business that. So if a business doesn't take Bitcoin in El Tunco, for example, you can just say, "Well, I got dollars on strike." And- exactly. Or with the strike, you can receive payment from a wallet, a Bitcoin wallet yeah. that works in the Lightning Network. Yeah. Like Bitcoin Beach. Like Bitcoin Beach. Yeah, yeah. On chain, two works. Also, the fees are more higher. Mm-hmm. We know that, but you know that that's that's the that opportunity for people that know about Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. They will take it straight away but the big problem is to give people access to send their money whenever they want you know and now people can send one dollar they can send ten dollar they can send a hundred bucks or they can send ten thousand us free all free in one second yeah and that's like it's nothing new technology exists but why not for sending money, yeah, you know? And that's like a huge thing that the strike is doing here and it's gonna fix that problem. And I remember Jack, a strike launched one month ago. Mm-hmm. And I remember Jack leaving the, the country and saying, well, you know, if we get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 user, users, mm-hmm. A subscriber yeah. in one month we're gonna be happy but you know what happened strike get two 
200,000 subscribers in less than one month. Where? Here? Here in El Salvador. Wait, hold on a second. You're saying that in El Salvador, there are 200,000 active subscribers using Strike right now? Yes. 200,000? Yeah. And that's why you... Because there is a need it. There is like... People suffering for sending money. There is like and they're all like now remittancing for free. That's from the third of Salvador's in the U.S. They're all sending that for free now. Yeah. Like basically, no one in this area is using Western Union ever again. Basically, unless they really want to or something. <laughs> yeah, but I what I how I explain like how in life if now you can save if you can send money to us about free why yeah tomorrow you will want to pay for do that again I would never again so that's the thing and is i think it's just about time that blew my mind it's just but it's just about time because like educated people mm -hmm. about the technology mm -hmm. That people understand that now it's free and it's there and it's gonna in one month in one month that was like 10 days ago yeah i don't know it's probably more now yeah that blew my mind that that gives me hope see there's the word again because to me i'm thinking it's, it's so funny how hope is different levels right like everybody has a a ceiling in their head mm -hmm. like where you think you know something can go or how fast you can get there and I remember hearing that you guys had about 3,000 or so users, maybe, you know, end of last year, that are actively using Lightning Network. And We're around 10,000 now. 10,000 now. Yeah. It was, well, it's growing so fast. Yeah. And, and in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, if, if Strike comes to El Salvador and they get all 3,000 or even 5,000 users, right? Strike's doing great. Like 5,000 users, that's amazing. But my limit was in my head. Mm -hmm. was there. So 200,000 users makes me feel like, this is the problem that the world has been waiting on to solve. Exactly. Like everyone knows already and it's just giving it to them. Yeah. That's and, amazing. And that's like how you need like people like Jack. Yeah. That stand up and say, this is going to change. You. Yeah, yeah. we are. We, but like he, we believe, you know, and I have dreams. And he got this dream that we're going to change the world. Yeah. And we're going to do it because there are like people like that we believe. And we can help and we're helping and we're like wake up every day and working, you know, for made it happen. Yeah. And but yeah, it's like it's not El Salvador. It's the entire world that need this. And this is just I think this is just about time. Yeah. This is just about time. And people are like asking, waiting. And El Salvador representing that, that where El Salvador is going to be like, I don't know, like full remittancing on the strike mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. And the remittancing are like one problem, but the thing is like connectivity, you yeah. know, if I want to send money to a friend in India, yeah. right now, where we are now. It's like a huge problem, you mm -hmm. know? And now with the strike, it's gonna be like, my friend can be in India, I'm in El Salvador, and I can send money to him in one second. Free. Free. Mm -hmm. And like, people need to know that they in the strike, I'm sending dollars, but my friend in India will get, what's the currency in India? Rupees. Rupees. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the right time with the right money. So, yeah. why, why people will not take that? That's the question. That is, that's the question I'm going to be asking going forward. Why wouldn't you do it? Yeah. Yes. Why? Yeah. So, I think it's the right, it's the right time of El Salvador and El Salvador is going to be the key to help other countries around and we're ready to help ready to if what we have been doing help to grow more faster you guys are here. the flagship 
yeah, you're the tip of the spear, as I like to say. Like, you know, a lot of countries, including Jamaica, are going to be t following your lead, you know, and taking a lot, of, a lot of advice from you guys because you're doing it. You know, this is amazing. Yeah. You know? Um, we have about an hour now, but uh, I want to wrap up. But, but before that, tell me, um, you know, I guess what your future plans are here, what you think is going to happen. You know, just obviously nothing's set in stone. The future's never written. But, you know, what things do you think will happen in the, in the short term? And, and then if there's anything you want to say to the audience, you know, let them, let them know. I see a better future for El Salvador, for my community, El Sonte. I think huge things are coming the thing that strike is here and they are judge the office mm -hmm. of a strike are here in the Sonte. yeah tell them the name of the office yeah hop house hope house but hop house is the is the is the center the community center where all the social project happening mm -hmm. but in the second level there are the office of strike mm -hmm. bitcoin beach mm -hmm. and but I think more companies like Strike will set up offices here. Yeah. And or people will have more opportunities like I now I'm working for Strike. Yeah. And that allowed me to have access to new technology, new opportunities. I'm and to believe in my dreams, you know, to to thinking that I can do it. This is the kind of um uh, economic development that made America great because America was able to join all these states and then let's say a company like Amazon or Tesla they could move into a, a city a small town in Texas and Amazon's a big company and they would just start hiring people and building right there and that town became prosperous became you know and I see and I see that for a country and I will tell you something uh, the first country that is going to start to be more friendly with Bitcoin or crypto it's going to take a big advantage because there are many 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 people waiting that yeah. and the first country that do that I hope it's El Salvador I hope it's Jamaica <laughs> me too <laughs> no I hope I hope it's El Salvador and El Salvador is like when you are the first you know like maybe you have the chance better chance but Singapore is, has a similar story yeah so strike is here it's bringing more opportunities you know I, I grew up here and the thing that some local guys are working for a huge company now that representing a lot and more more company are interesting on that and i think in the next month in the next this year it's gonna be crazy in a good way for el salvador mm -hmm. there are so many things that are gonna happening that are gonna change many things and i agree it's time to buckle up yeah it's gonna get crazy yeah and yeah yeah you know like what i see what i expecting for us is like or people just want to have a better life mm -hmm. a better quality of life yeah. we know that we're not here forever yeah. and i just want i want a house here but my friends and my family also want a house here yeah if i can have a house I want that they have also the opportunity that they have a house and this is what the people dream in the end you know like a good house good salary a car salary that they can feed their family and they still have money to to live you yeah know? people are not asking for no for not crazy they don't want private jets they just want high good quality food yeah you know, a nice place to live. Yeah. Yeah. So, as a country, our president is working so hard and bring hope yeah. to our country. But he's not gonna do everything, you know. And alone, he need people. And if you wanna change your country, if you wanna change your community, you can do it. And big change started for started for being like an idea. And everything can can happen in, in the way you all will, will find people that want to help.
the believe in your dream. And I see that for my country, for El Salvador, for our town. I hope El Sonte is gonna be the new Sil Sil Silicon Valley. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. I mean, you have the the future Silicon Valley company sitting here in the middle of your town, building a an office. So, you know, I, like I I personally believe this is just me watching Strike grow for the past. You know, since they built Zap and they built, you know. Strike and order going strike global. I think they're going to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, financial company in the world. Yeah, and you guys have their one of their HQs in your in your backyard. Yeah. yeah, no, I I believe that, and that's why I say people need to have access to education, and if people have access to education, that make like they think and they see the opportunities, mm -hmm. and if this is like a not like an opportunity. It's like uh, the bigger things. It never, it never had been in the full history, in the whole history, that there is something free, public, mm -hmm. and that we can take advantage yeah. of that. You know, and that can be the key. Things are happening. Things are changing, and. We need to do it. We need to put some work. We need to help more people. And that's the that's the thing. Like when you understand that you are not gonna be here forever. We I, we have personal dreams, goals, you know. I wanna have house here in Sante. That's one one of my But that's the thing, right? That's your goal now, like you said. But that house might come sooner than you think. And when you get that house, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna be like, okay. New goal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, now I want X or Y. Or... And, and that's the key. Yeah. To give yeah. one thing and one you teach people that they can... Because the thing is like in our culture, people don't even think that they can, they can do it. Yeah. Because we grew up like poor and they thinking that we will stay poor and that's like not true. Yeah. We can change reality. Yeah. And you need like one person to change the old family history. Yeah. You need a couple guys in the community to change one community. Yeah. When then we need one community to change an entire country. Yeah. Yeah. So one uh, country to change the entire world. Exactly. It starts with you. Exactly. And this is like how you start to learn in that that sometime like your little effort that you do help. Mm -hmm. And when you became like a community leader, the, the title, I, we didn't choose like Jorge Ir being me, all the guys in the community, Mike, we didn't choose to do it. No one put us like as a person, oh, you're going to be the leader here, yeah. you know? Yeah. But we believe and we need to stand up for something. <laughs> That's the, the goal. And in the end, if we can help others to have a better life, quality of life, it's a good thing to do, you know? And that's the, the thing. And people, when they will listen to this, it doesn't matter where you are now. It doesn't matter where you came from. But if you stand up and you're working hard and you believe and you have dreams, you can do it. Sometimes it took time, you know, and that's the, that's the thing yeah. that we want everything like so fast. Yeah, right now. Right Make now. Work. Yeah. Yeah. But it took time. Sometimes it took time, and like a DJ in Jamaica, Alkaline has a song that says, "Everything take a little time." Yeah. Which means it just takes time. Yeah. You know, you might not get it today, you might not get it tomorrow. Take a little time. Yeah. If Imagine. You work, you'll get it. Imagine Sonte now, El Sonte, or grandparents. I always hear hear from him to say, this place one day will change. Mm -hmm. but he left and he didn't see the, this. And maybe we're seeing now, maybe not. But that's the thing about the future, right? Yeah. The future. The I, I love the fact that your vision isn't 
you know, some people might be more materialistic thinking, yeah, we're going to build huge houses and hotels and this place is going to be nice. And you're like, no, that's not the point. The point is, the vision is, the future is open for people to do whatever they want with their goals. And if that's the goal, for, then you, know, you don't really, you're not focused on the material stuff anymore. You're focused on the people. Yeah. And that's, that is such a great foundation to build, you know, this new world on. That's why I'm so I'm so excited about it. And give hope. 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 To go and say, you. I cannot say yeah, but I hope when I will say. I did. Yeah. I did many things already. We did many things already, but that puts you also. To try to be better you know because there are many people watching you people that watch whatever you do and they believe in you and that person sometimes is high it's hard yeah and i don't have a choice i i promise that we will do it and we will do it and who knows <laughs> you know that's the thing who knows but at least we're going to try it. Yeah. And I really, really, really believe that everyone can help. Everyone can do something for others. And just put in there. It made it public. That's, the, that, that's another key. When you make something public mm -hmm. and you say, I will do this. Yeah. That's the commitment you've made now. Yeah. Your social contract has been signed. Yeah. And yeah. And that's why people are scared to say, oh, this is my dream. Yeah. It's happened when we visit some community and I ask to the kids, hey, what's your dream? What's your, what's your dream? I wonder they say it, you know, and they're yeah. like, chai, and yeah. they don't want to say it. Or people like. They're scared to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Scary to commit. Yeah. Because he's saying the words. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, it's, it's better like that no one know what you want and no one will say like, ah, you didn't, you tell me you want to do that, you know, like, yeah. but yeah. Fear, it's fear of failure and I, and, I, and I love the fact that you focus on the hope and not the fear because, because those two things are usually, you know, in parallel with each other. People hope for things, but they fear they won't get them and they let the fear drive them into not telling you what they want, being quiet and not working for it. Yeah. So hope is such a strong word. It's hope, such, you know. Hope is the best thing, the best word, you know. But it's, and we don't have a choice. We can be scared, but we don't. We 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 have to do it, you know. Who's gonna? In my case, it's like my mom is representing like a lot of power for me, and mm. I'm thinking on her, and I say like, yeah, I'm scared. Yeah. But who is going to be when my mom is going to be old? Yeah. Who's going to buy her a house? Not her. Yeah. Yeah. They, it's not their fault, you know? Yeah. But now, we have the opportunity. If I didn't have, if I didn't do nothing for my kids, maybe we can have the opportunity now. Yeah. We don't know later, you know? Or what, who's going to change that family mm -hmm. reality? So, you took, you took big responsibility, you took like a big dream, and when you have your dreams, your personal dreams, you have your community dreams, you have your country dreams, you have a global dream with a strike, and sometimes you're tired too, you know, sometimes you're tired and... and, and Sometimes you, you want to go and grab your surfboard and surfing for a week, you know? <laughs> Forget all this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you should do. Come to Jamaica and surf for a week. I will. Take a vacation, man. I will, I will, I will. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, just let me know. Yeah, but in the, in the same time, when you enjoy what you do, yeah. you it's wake up. Work. Yeah, it's no work, you mm -hmm. know? And True. Well, keep enjoying what you're doing, man. I really appreciate you spending this time with me. I know you have to rush off to this wedding and stuff, so... Um, hopefully that's will be here. I'm happy to help you and help. I can come to Jamaica soon. I'm going to take you up on this, if, you know, if you have the time. Because I know, again, I don't want to take you away from no. the events you guys have here. 
But if you're gonna come and help me, I'm not gonna say no. So, you know, thanks um, again. We're ready, we're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Roman Roman Martinez at Twitter. Si. Si. So, everybody check it out. You and check out Bitcoin Beach. That's at Bitcoin Beach as well. You the people.